Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Zulie Entertainment, and welcome back to Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival Episode 25, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 25, if that's true. And it is a big deal, episode 25 is a long series, and I'm still trying to make a world download. The uh, program keeps screwing up, but, and I'm going to work on the calendar next episode, I'm pretty sure. And I'm getting the god pickaxe because of the first thing we're doing today. I'm sorry I haven't finished the calendar, but I really got super frustrated. Actually, Zadaf plays the guy who made the calendar. Uh, what he did was every five episodes of a series, he releases a world download. So he released a world download with the world. So I can actually go in and see what he did with the machine. But I, I just don't feel like it right now. I feel like just doing some stuffity stuff. Uh, some stuff that I've been needing to get done for a while. But first of all, uh, I've been doing a little more digging right here. You may have seen from my other videos. I've never mentioned in my other video, my earlier videos, but yes, I have been digging this out. Uh, so I've just dug out a little bit, just a tiny bit, not too much. He 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 he. Uh, but yeah, I've dug out quite a bit. Uh, dug out all of that under there and. I dug up, you can't see it because the stupid hopper's in the way. I dug all that out up there. I'm just uh, digging it out. I have no idea why. For some reason, I just really like digging stuff out in Minecraft. Uh, sometimes I feel like digging a really deep hole. And I don't quite know why, but now we can easily get to the slime chunks if we need to. So that ride won't be nearly as long to get there and back. But the first part of today is we're going down to this part. I actually dug this entire thing uh, down from here, most of this was today. I've been digging a uh, so much today, uh, because it's already 4, uh, p.m., and I've been digging for about several hours on and off, having meals, watching TV, taking little breaks, just being kind of lazy, but we have the god pickaxe, because we need to do some mining, and those diamonds will be saved for last, because they're freaking diamond, but... Uh, you always need a good amount of redstone. I used 90% of all the redstone that I've had on the calendar, and I'm probably going to need more for it. So I've broken a few chunks with the god pickaxe, a few streams. Uh, then I was like, I'm going to wait and show it to all of you guys so you can see how good the pickaxe is. So, so far I have broken uh, 8 blocks of redstone, and I already have 51 redstone. The god pickaxe is just so freaking OP. Uh, I just love this pickaxe. I am so glad. Uh, I just got it randomly enchanting. I've shown you it before. I just named it the god pickaxe a few days ago. Efficiency 4, Fortune 2. It's a pretty impressive pickaxe. Uh, and it's nothing to sneeze at. I really like it. And I've been using it a lot on many of the veins I found. That's why I used to have so much redstone. Because of the freaking god pickaxe. Ooh, it's kind of dark down here. Boop. Now nothing will spawn. Okay, and that's pretty much all of that. We got almost two stacks of redstone. That is insane. That was just from like three or four, maybe five rank. Oh, wait, no, there's a bit up here. I forgot about this vein. Uh, oh, uh, boop. And let's get to you, Mr. Redstone Vein. Eh, don't want to use the god pickaxe on just normal stone. It's only for the special veins because you only got so much durability and this is the best pickaxe ever invented. Forced to an efficiency for. It's just a great old pickaxe. And that officially got me almost two and a half stacks of redstone. And that's just a freak ton of redstone. But for the grand finale of this two minute long mining trip, these two pieces of diamond. Boop and boop. That's four diamonds. Let's just make sure. Oh, it's a good thing I kept digging. And that's a total. Hey, none of those gave me any extras. That's a bit unfair. But six diamonds. I just got six diamonds. Just some breaking four. Oh, my arm just suddenly started itching. Is there anything behind me? I'm always quite paranoid. I'm like the most paranoid person in the world. I like literally look over my shoulder most of the time. Uh, I'd have to say that when I'm not recording videos, I look over my shoulder every few minutes. Even when I'm watching videos, I, I'm really nervous that someone's behind me. 
Uh, it's really weird. And now that I said that, I'm really paranoid. We are back. Okay, we're safe. Don't worry. Uh, so, yes, yeah, six diamonds in two and a half, uh, well, almost two and a half stacks of uh, redstone. That is really good. And wait. I, oh, yeah, I also got to, I was thinking, I saw some lapis lazuli, but I remembered I already broke the lapis lazuli vein I found. And I got 40 lapis lazuli from, like, three pieces of lapis ore, because a lapis ore will already give you a good amount of lapis, plus the fact that, uh, bleh, the fact that I got forks and it gave me, like, 20 per thingy, I'm not sure. Uh, just saying hi to the golem. This is the mystical Bridge O Cobblestone. Uh, we got cobblestone, 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 cobblestone. This is where all my cobblestone is on the wonderful Bridge of Cobblestone. It's quite nice. Uh, so it's not clogging up my room anymore. So let's go drop these off and then we'll really get into the stuff that needs to get done today. Well, it's nothing super major. It's just kind of a... It's a simple day. It's not. We're not going to be taking on any massive projects. We're just taking on kind of a mini project. So go up, God Pickaxe. Let me put up the ores, and then we will start our main project for today. And I think this may be the first time that I have no. Well, I might see. We are. I ran almost out of redstone, uh, and that's pretty impressive. And I've gone on some mining trips, so I have this many diamonds. I think I showed that off in the last episode. Uh, geez, I have a lot of diamonds. Let's put these all together and see uh, eh, 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 eh. how many we have. We have a total of 53 diamonds. Plus, we have one right here that's 54 and 9 in this block. That's 63 diamonds. 63 diamonds. Plus, I turned 3 diamonds into that pick, so that makes 66 diamonds. Uh, technically, I found this world. So, what's in the chest? It's what we're gonna do today. Hooray! Just a bunch of random stuff. But, as I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put in the title, uh, what we're gonna be doing today is renovating Craner's house. Now, you may, if none of you know what house I'm talking about, it's the wood house at the top of my elevator. Uh, the thing with that house that house is based off Craner's original house from Crundy Craft, the first few episodes. Uh, and it's always been empty. And I added the Cobble Killer, like, two episodes ago? Yeah, two episodes ago. Uh, and I thought to myself, I should just go all out and renovate the house to make it all Cranery. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, we got saying there. Uh, do not pay attention to that. That is not your concern. I had a hole here, but that needs to... No, oh, I put that in the wrong place, didn't I? Uh, so, uh, we're going to be adding several cranery items, and I'll probably be doing some stuff off camera. But, the first thing is to make Craner feel more at home in this house. Uh, if you can tell... Wait, pause. If you can tell what I'm going to make, leave in the comment section below... And then a few seconds, you'll see if, if if we're right. I'll give you a few seconds to go into the comment section. Do, 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 do. You're out of time. Okay, so what we're going to be making for Craner is... um, Well, I'm not even going to say. Okay, you're just going to have to... Uh, if you haven't guessed it by now, you obviously aren't a massive Craner fan. Because we're making Craner a meat pole. Yay, meat poles! Yay! And just putting down these eight item frames has already caused me a lag spike. That's how bad my computer is. But yeah, we've got Craner, one of his signature meat poles that he's so fond of. And that's pretty cool. So we got the cobble killer. Now we've got two other things. We got the cobble killer and the meat pole. We got two other things going to be built here. We're going to go with this first one first because this will be really hard to do after the next one's done. Uh, I don't think I made any sense when I was talking like that. Uh, so, what we're going to build, it's not Craner related. It's just for Craner's convenience if he ever comes to my Minecraft world. We're going to build Craner a good old hot tub to enjoy his time in. Now, I was watching a video by... 
I can't remember who I was watching it by. But, well, I just heard a sound. Uh, it's probably just somebody moving around the house. Uh, hmm. Okay, so what... Uh, I've seen, I think... Who was I watching that did the... Uh, I think it was IBX Toy Cat who did the uh, this little video on how to make a Minecraft uh, hot tub. And so how it works is, of course, you've got your fire. Oh, wait, I know why I still have a flint in my inventory. I forgot to make the freaking flint and steel, didn't I? Oh, my gosh. Uh, like, half an hour of trying to prepare this for this video. And yes, I fell from a high place, as you can see in the chat. It was when I was digging that hole. I was like, oh, no, and I fell and I died. A horrible, painful, suffering death with such pain and demise. Let's see, do I still have any iron up here? <sighs> I guess I don't. Wait, anything in the furnaces? No, I'm gonna have to go back downstairs. Uh, well, you guys can come along with me. Uh, so, I always pride myself on almost always being prepared for the episode, but that, ooh, I think somebody's having a drink at the bubbly pub, which is quite nice. Uh, speaking of, I trapped a villager in there. So, he's just getting a drink at the bubbly pub. Uh, hi, I'll take a drink. Yeah, I'll take one milk. Oh, wait, they say they're out of milk. Well, let's go. The, I can't believe this. The bubbly pub has, like, no drinks in it because I haven't made a brewing stand yet. Just because there's no brewing stands doesn't mean you have the right to not give me my drink. Gosh darn it. I'm just going to have to stick with my melons, my tasty melons. Uh, and speaking of melons, let's go over to the farm and I'll show you what we got. We got this many pumpkins and this many melons. That's how the melon farm's been doing. It's been uh, over, like, two weeks since I have made that farm. So it's going pretty freaking well. I'd say it's a pretty efficient farm so far. So, pretty efficient farm so far. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm too gangsta for yo. But we got the flint and steel, which I really should have made before we got into this whole mess. But it's quite annoying. But I won't make that mistake again. So how does this uh, hot tub that I think was shown to me by IBX Toy Cat work? Now, my biggest concern is I hope I don't burn the house down. This is the only place where the hot tub would fit because I got the cobble killer and stuff. So please don't burn it down. Uh, so, the thing is, particles from fire... Wait, I think I have particles off. Let's see. Uh, video settings... Particles all. Okay, this is gonna cause a huge lag spike, but YOLO! Okay, as you can see, particles are coming up. Uh, those... Is my house on fire? Oh dear, oh dear, is it on fire? Oh dear, it's on fire! It's on fire! Oh, uh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I screwed up. 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 Oh, crap. 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 Oh, dang it. 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 Ah! Die! Fire! Die! No, my ha- The Craner house is burning. It's all burning. No! Why, cruel world? Eh. Get out, fire! Nobody likes you. Okay, so I... Oh, no, it's still spreading. Oh, the fire's spreading. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, he do. Oh, crap. 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 I gotta get upstairs. Oh, my gosh. Everything's on fire. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. The house is burning. It's all burning. No, my hard work. I put so much work into this. No. No. Oh, I fell back down to the hole. Oh, poop. Oh, poop, 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 poop. Oh, poodly poop, 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 poop. Uh, firemen. Hurry, fire, 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 fire. Fire, I repeat, we got a fire, we got a fire. Help me, fire. Ah, ah, no. No. Die, fire. I hate fire. Okay, this is the worst decision ever by me. I am so very stupid. Why did I do this? I should not have done this. The house is burning! No! No! No, not the house. I really like this house. This is the house I sleep in every night. No! 
No, die fire. I will defeat the fire. If it's the last thing I do, and OMG, these particles are killing my... Uh, this is lagging so bad. Let's turn particles off. And let's get back to this. Oh my gosh, not the fire. No. No. Oh dear, Z. Oh dear, Z. Do. Uh, give me some water. Huh. No, I'm on fire. Ah, 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 ah. No. No. Oh, I fell down. Oh dear, Z. Oh dear, Z. Do. Oh dear, Z. Dear, Z. Do. The house is burning. <sighs> oh my gosh, how do I stop this fire, people? Will I save the Craner house or will this thing burn down? This is this is not good. I did say I did a wrong, I did a stupid, I did a very stupid thing. Uh no, it all burst into flames again. Right as I put out the fire. Oh dear, I'm on fire now. Put me out water. Ah No, I'm gonna die. Ugh. Okay, this This was a horrible idea. This idea was just plain awful. I'll get back to you guys next time I get the fire put out. I, oh my gosh, the entire thing's gonna burn down. Gosh darn it. Not Even the meat pole's probably gonna end up burning to the ground. I am like overheating in my jacket. I'll get back to you when I have fixed this horrible mess that I have caused. I do not know what I was thinking. I thought the fire wouldn't spread that far. But it did, and now the whole thing's burning down to the ground. I'll catch you in a second. And I got all of the fire to be gone. Well, this was a massive failure. Probably one of the greatest failures of all time so far on my channel. This is a tragedy. I can't believe this happened. Oh my gosh. I, ex I, I thought a fire might happen. But of this magnitude, completely destroying the base, uh, the house, the Craner house of coolness, I did not see that coming. And I have no idea where all this water's coming from, considering I only had two source blocks. This one source block just went everywhere. This is, oh dear, it went down. Did it screw up? It screwed up the farm. Well, gosh darn, let me down. Well, now the elevator is out of order. That sucks. Uh, let's see if I can at least try to push it back into its place. Uh, it's hard because it's kind of laggy. Because as I've said, it lags when I record. As I record, it's laggy. And ah, uh, this is like sensory overload, seeing all that brightness. My eyes. My eyes are watering. Okay. So we used to have a house here. So, and I nearly burned to death, and I ended up breaking some of the glass. So, I think I like the renovations we have so far. I'd say this is a pretty nice renovation, and I, there's not even really a point to me continuing, considering, wait, how did a third, oh wait, this is my second source, well, how the freak did you get here? Get back in my bucket, bruh. But, there's hardly, uh, well... Yeah, I might as well just continue. This is going to take a lot of off-camera work to fix, but at least you saw me completely freak out as I completely ruined my entire house. Now, the whole point of that horrible failure was I was supposed to build a uh, jacuzzi. How it works is the, what you might call it, the particles, they can go through half slabs, and because of that, uh... Uh, you could put half slabs over them and then water over the half slabs and the particles would come through the water like a jacuzzi. Just tell Craner never to put a jacuzzi in his house because this is the result. Uh, the basic shape is still kind of there. I never expected the fire to go that out of proportions. Uh, oh, jeez. This is going to be... This is painful. This is just painful. I cannot believe... That that happened. That is so much wood. And the problem is, when it comes to my wood supply, I have almost all of my wood is birch wood. Because birch wood, I, just, I don't know, I just started farming it and now I have like, I always have like several stacks of birch wood. But now did I need to find some oak wood. Let's uh, try to get that map so we can just see how much of the map uh, yells at me for my destruction. How do you get over there, Mr. Ma map? Oh, jeez. So, 
this is the new and improved Craner's house. How do you like it? I think that it is horrible and that I am a complete failure and I destroyed this really hard work stuff that I've been working on really hard. And so we got this. So we got a nice meat pole. I'd say that uh yay. We we did it. Hooray. Hooray. Yay. Uh, the third renovation thing, I'm not even going to do it because I got to rebuild the entire house. Now, the third renovation, I was going to get a villager, get him to go over here through the dirt and name him. It, we'll just call him Bobby and put him in fences in here so he could never leave. So Bobby would be in here. So as you can tell, it's not really worth putting Bobby in a house that's completely destroyed. I'm going to have to get to work off camera. I'm sorry. This is meant to go. It'd be really cool. But you just saw me burn everything down to the ground. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe to join the Axel Empire. Hopefully next week I won't completely burn my entire house down. Again, maybe I can even make it cooler this time. We have a bunch of things added for Kreiner, like some chests and some stuff like that. I'm not sure. But until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Zuli Entertainment. And goodbye! <laughs>